Hi everyone, this is Connie from Connie's Crafty Designs. I wanted to come on and show you how to make a bow for a wreath. We, I am getting ready, my next video will be to do this wreath. It is the wreath kit for um, this month and I'm gonna make a bow first. So I thought I'd show you how to do it. So I'm just gonna pan down and we'll get started. I want you to be able to see my screen here better. Here we go. Okay, this is called the Easy Bow Maker. We're gonna start out with that. And we're gonna start out with this ribbon, which is uh, gingerbread. And we are going to give it uh, about a 12 inch, 12 inch tail. So I'm going to do 12 inches and I'm going to scrunch it together and put it and t twist it as I put it in there so that the good side is flat down. So you see the good side flat down there. We're going to put, bring our 12 inch tail. We'll move these. This is what I was going to use. But we'll bring our 12 inch tail down this way. And I'm going to make a six inch loop. So I'm going to just hold my hand here. I've got it. There's a measure measuring thing on there, like a ruler. So it's put it through here. Make sure I got a good good little loop there, and then I'm going to twist it again. So when you twist it, that gives you the the pretty side up. So I'm twisting it now. I'm going to put the bad side on the bottom, and I'm going to make another six inch loop. Holding my hand there, putting it through, and pulling to make sure it's a good loop. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do one more loop. So I'm going to turn it, twist it again, and give it a six inch loop. Oops. How's everybody doing today? It's a, it's a rainy, yucky day here in Florida but I'm thankful it's not quite as hot as it's been being, so I'm glad for that. Starting to see a little bit of fall weather. All right, and I'm gonna, so this is my second loop on this side. I'll give it six inches. Oops. Now I'm gonna see, let's see how much ribbon I have. I'm gonna go ahead and Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give it another loop. So it'll be three loops on each side of this ribbon. This is a canvas ribbon. It's really nice. It's canvas and it's two and a half inches. And I'm using the Easy Bow Maker, which has a, a ruler on it. It gives you a good guide there. So I'm pressing that down and I'm going to twist, turning the wrong side out so that when you flip it over to make your next loop, your pretty side is out. So that's my three loops. And I'm gonna come down and make it be the same length of tail, which is 12 inches. I'm gonna cut that off right there. Now I'm gonna take the two ends together and I'm gonna just turn them in half and I'm gonna cut the edges from, from the material side to the wire, up to the wire diagonal. It just gives it a nice little tail there. All right, so we're gonna push those down. So we have three loops. And the next one, I'm gonna do two loops. And I'm gonna come down just a little. This is six inch loops. I'm gonna come down to five and a half inch loops. Pull that out. Kind of that's about where we, we're gonna want them, although I may have to push them. So I'm going to use I'm gonna use a one and a half inch next. It's a little stripe. And so I'm gonna give this about a 16 inch tail. And that way I can, or let's do 18. That way I can curl the ends uh, on the um, wreath. It kind of gives it a little, little extra texture there. So I'm gonna put this in and twist it. And bring your tail down. I'm bringing all my tails down on this bow. Bring all of it down. And so you can either 
you know, use your ruler or you can just kind of gauge it with what you have. So I'll just go ahead and use the ruler. I'm putting my hand at five and a, oh, let's see, five and a half inches. So I'm coming down a half inch. I'm putting that in there. Let's see. Put that down in there and a twist. And then I'm going to take this one five and a half. That one five and a half. Okay. And then that's going to be about all the ribbon I have on that one. So we're going to just do one of that. And we'll come back and use the other one that looks very similar to this. So I'm going to get the tails and I'm going to cut them the same length right here. And I'm going to put those together, fold them in half and cut up from from the diagonal to the wire. And then you have uh, a good little tail there. And I'm gonna, um, I'm trying to look at something over there. Let me grab something real quick. Since we ran, since I ran out of that, I'm gonna put something that looks just like it, or not just like it, but will match, okay. So on this one, which has got some candy cane and spearmint. I'm gonna make that a long tail as well. Well, no, I'm not either, because that's not gonna make it. Let's see. If we do a, let's do a tail about like this one right here. The other one in. Push that down. I'm gonna twist it. We're just gonna make a loop about the size of this one here, which is five and a half inches, and twist it. And the same as this one right here. And I'm gonna have to adjust just a little bit. Sorry, guys. Sometimes you just have to kind of adjust because that's not working right. So we're gonna have to go a little. Low. Let me use that one last <laughs> because I don't want to um, mess up my bow. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Just a moment. I'm gonna grab some something else. Here we go, I'm sorry about that. So we will use this, I got plenty, <laughs> plenty of this. So now we can, we're going to bring it down the same length as that one so that we can twirl some on the bottom. So I'm gonna put that in there and I'm gonna twist. And I'm still gonna make just one loop because I wanted to make two loops of this one so it would show through. So I'm gonna just make one loop, the same size as that one, and we can pair those off together. So I'm gonna twist, so the wrong side is down, and the same size as this other one, which is five and a half inches. And then I'm gonna come straight down. You don't need to twist because your, your, uh, your design is straight up. And we're just gonna have the same tail, same size tail as the one I just cut. Okay. Oops. So then, we'll take the two tails, put them together, fold them in half, and cut on the diagonal, cut a diagonal, which gives it a, well, that didn't give it a nice little tail. It was too, too short. So we'll just cut this one again. It must have been in the way there. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna push those down. So, and bring the tails forward. So we've got our ribbons with three here. And then if we spread these out, we have two. And see how you'll be able to see all the ribbons there? I don't know if you can see that real well, I hope so. So if you spread those out, then you can see all your ribbons. So now I'm going to do, let's see how much of this I have. I am going to come in with, back with my, um, the two and a half inch, and I'm gonna make a shorter tail, 
like the, the first one. Put that in there, and I'm going to twist, and I'm going to make this the same size as the loops I just did, but I'm only going to make one so that it will come in the center of those two. So you want to twist so your good side is down, and you come over and you put this in the center. Make sure you got just a nice little loop, not too tight. And then I'll twist again. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Which will make it just, let's see, right there. And that's just perfect. Okay, so I'm bring that in. And you can also guide, guide yourself this way if you want to. You can pull them, pull them both up like this and see if you think they're straight, and they are. I just kind of like to go by a guide that's already on there. Okay, so I'm gonna pull those forward. And since I have ribbon left, let's see, we did, so we did three loops, two loops, and one loop. So now, let's see, do we, I think, I don't know if I need to let that, I think I'm gonna let that be it, I think. Let's see, I'm trying to see if, what other ribbon I have that would be good on that. Um, I had some candy cane ribbon, I don't know. I'm not seeing it. Oh well, that's all right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do two loops of this canvas um, ribbon. I'm just trying to think here for a minute. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And make the same length that we had before. And this time I'm gonna come down a half of an inch from the one that we previously did. And I'm just gonna gauge it with my finger here. If you can, can see right here, that's about a half of an inch from that one. So I'm just gonna make a, a loop there. And I'm gonna twist it. And we're gonna do the same for this side. And I really need to make two more loop or one more loop each. So I'm gonna twist this one. That way we can come on the outside of the one that we just did one on. I might have just enough. Okay, so I'm putting that through, making another good loop. I'm gonna twist it so that the good side is down. Making sure that my bow is even with that one. Pushing that down. And then I'm gonna cut my ribbon the same length as this one. I'm gonna bring the two ends together, fold them in half and cut diagonal from the fabric to the wire. And you have a nice little edge there on the bottom. Okay, so that's two loops. This one was, oh, wait a minute now. Okay, that's, that's two loops too, that's all right. And then, oh, wait a minute now, that's two. We did those for two loops, this for one loop, this for two loops, and now I'm gonna do one more one loop and I'm gonna come in a little a little closer to, to the center the same ribbon right here and I'm gonna make it long so that we can curl the edges so put that in there twist so that the good, good side is down I'm gonna come in about a half inch from this one and put that in there and then I'm gonna twist we're getting a pretty big bow. And same thing with this one, about a half inch from that. And then I'm gonna do just a little, I'm gonna twist this, and I'm gonna make a loop that will be our center loop. Let's see if I wanna do that. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave it like it is. I'll do something else for the center loop. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this one the same length. Hold them in half and bring the ends together. 
and cut on the diagonal from the fabric to the wire. And there's the edge on those two. Okay, so we got a really thick bow. I'm pressing it down. So I'm bring all the tails here to the front. Let's see if I can move that out of the way so you can see better maybe. So this is what we have on the Easy Bow Maker right now. So I'll just pull all these. And I'm gonna kind of guide these where I want them before I tighten up a zip top. So again, we're putting, we start at the bottom. We just kind of spread these three out. Then we spread the two out so that those two can be seen in between the three. Then this one, they're about where we want them. And then spread these two out, these two out, and this one will go in the center. All right, so now I'm going to get a zip tie. I don't know if I need one that big. I'm going to get a zip tie, and I'm going to put underneath in the center. Let's see now. I'm going to put that in the center underneath all the bows, I mean all the ribbons. And I'm going to go ahead and zip tie that down a little bit. And I'm, I'm going to bring the, the bad part of the zip tie down here to the bottom. And zip tie it there like that. Before I forget about it, I'm going to take, I'm going to get some wire. And this will be what you what we use to put on, put the bow on the uh, wreath when we get done. Gotta make sure to put that in before you cut your zip tie off or tighten it, and you won't be able to get it in there. Okay, so I got my wire. So I'm gonna look to the back and put that under. And I'm just going to kind of make sure that's even together underneath all the ribbons. Now I don't have to go into the ribbons, just under the, the zip tie. Now I'm going to kind of just give that a, a tie on there so it won't go nowhere. Okay, that there. Okay, now I have to stand up for this. So I'm going to push that down as far as I can. As I start to pull up on this bow, I keep trying to put the zip tie towards the center because if you're not careful, it will come apart real easy. And then that's not real fun. I hope my hands are not in the way too much, but I don't have real good luck sometimes with this, so I try to do it as I, as I take it out, I'm kind of shifting that zip tie right there over the center and see how that can turn real easy on you. <laughs> Push it back down a little bit. See it already turned a little in this front. I don't know why that always happens to me, but I'm gonna twist it back there a little bit before I so I'll make sure make sure I got my bows, ribbon, tails where I want them. This one was trying to go over, so I'm push it back. These three on the bottom, make sure that they're where I want them before I take it out any further. Because once you tighten your zip tie, that's it. <laughs> you have, if you don't like it, you'll have to take, cut your zip tie off then. So I think we have it there okay. So I'm going to pull it back up and push it and push Pull that zip tie even more. And then you can turn it in the back. And see you got your, your wire. I got the wire right there. And all of these were supposed to be where we wanted them. So I'm going to just zip tie that down even more. Really about as tight as I can tighten it. And we know that our ribbons will not go anywhere. So before I take that zip tie off, I'm going to use it as a handle and I'm going to kind of 
I'm going to turn this over so you can see the bottom. And I'm going to just start fluffing these from the bottom. I'll turn it over here in a minute. I just wanted to show you the back of it. So you can just start start fluffing them. Uh, we'll fluff them a little bit now, and then after we put the, put it on the wreath, we'll fluff it up more. So you got your three on each side, and you can pull them up. And then you have these two, which are supposed to be alike, <laughs> but they weren't. So really, you can just start fluffing. You, you should be able to see all the ribbons because of the way we did the three, the two, the one, and then I did two, and then one. So they all should be mismatched so that you can see all the ribbons, and it gets smaller as it goes towards the center. And I'm going to put something there to cover up the zip tie. Now see that one? didn't do right so I'm gonna pull it it looks like it's a little smaller so there that turned out good and then there's these two again just kind of have to fluff it up and sometimes you got to fluff and refluff and then on on the, the ribbons see well you just kind of do that now on these ones that I cut longer, I'll show you what I'm gonna do on those. But you can just take your thumb and curl these under. All oh, these should curl really nice. They're, they're, uh, they're, all, they're all wired. Let's see, I'm taking it from the camera there. I'm just giving it a good curl. A lot of times when I have a, a bow on the wreath or even the ribbon tails on it, I will take um, the end of my paint brush and I will go around and fluff all my bows with that but I'm going to show you so, so see how our bow came out came out pretty good didn't it oh. and so that's going to go that's going to match our sign and everything really good but let me show you what I do with these tails um, you can take these and curl them under like this. And then you have a little curl. That'll, that'll fall a little bit as you go. As time goes on, it'll fall a little bit. And so you have a little curl with these. You can make it as small, as big as you want. You can pull it out like that. And then here's some under here. Just curl, just makes it kind of cute and curly. If y'all are just stopping in, this uh, I'm Connie from Connie's Crafty Designs. Thank you for hanging with me and watching this how to do a bow. I missed one of the tails, so I'm cut that right there. And uh, this has been fun. I thank you for for watching and. If you haven't already subscribed to my page, if you go to my YouTube page and subscribe, and when you do hit the little bell that's on the right side, I'd appreciate it. And you check out my other sites. They're all Connie's Crafty Designs. And there we have it. Thank you all so much. I hope you have a great day.